Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is measuring length. So this is lesson 10.6 in our textbook. Don't forget, to all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So there's our, our common core strand. So our essential question is, how can we generate measurement data and show data on a line plot? Okay. So I'll describe all of that here shortly. So we have learned how to measure length to the nearest inch from a prior lesson, but sometimes and many times, most times, the length of an object is not a whole unit. It's not like exactly three inches or exactly you know four inches or or something. So for example, a paper clip is more than an inch but it's typically less than two inches unless you have a really small one or a really large one right there. So we can measure the length to the nearest half inch or even to the nearest fourth inch. Okay, so here's a piece of a, a ruler, okay, that you might have in your desk right here. So here it goes from zero to one inch right here and then from one to two inch. And I, this one actually was a six inch ruler right there. So it kept going. I just cut it off right there after two inches right there. So the half inch mark on the ruler, which is right here, it divides it into, into halves right there. Uh, it divides the, the inch into two equal parts right there. So from zero to one, right in the middle is a half inch mark right here. From one to two, right in the middle, would be a one and a half inch mark right here, okay? And then in between the half inch marks, we have these fourth inch marks. So the fourth inch marks divide each of the inch into four equal parts. So this would be like um, zero fourths. This would be one fourth. This would be two fourths, which is the same as one half. This is three fourths, and this would be four fourths, okay? This would be one and one fourth. This would be one and one half. This would be one and three fourths right here, up to two, and then it would go two and a fourth, two and a half, two and three fourths, and then three, and then and so on. Okay, so a ruler is like a, a number line, you guys. See, here's a number line from zero to one, and it doesn't look like zero, but zero over any number is zero. Okay, any number over itself is one right here, so four over four equals one. So so this number line from zero to one is cut up into four equal pieces. Here's one fourth, here's two fourths, here's three fourths, here's four fourths. This is zero fourths. Okay? And then here it is right here. This would be one fourth, or in, in this one, they're labeled into halves right here. So this would be zero halves. The halfway mark is one half. And then over here is two halves, which is one right here. Or we can cut them up into fourths right here. This would be one fourth, is this right here. And this would be three fourths. It would be that right there. This is a half right here. This would be zero. This is one right here. Okay? All right, so let's use a ruler to measure the glue stick to the nearest half inch right there. Okay, so let's line up the left end of this uh, glue stick with the zero mark right here on the ruler. Okay, so I'm going to just pull that, slide it right down, right there with the zero mark right there. Okay, let's see if I got it just right right there. I'm going to put some little um, um, border lines right there. So the right end of the glue stick, which is way over here, this is the right end, is at the halfway mark uh, between... Uh, it's at the half inch marks for the two inch and the three inch. So it's halfway between two and three right there. So that's what would probably go in those blanks right there. Okay. So the mark that is closest to the right end of the glue stick right here would be two and one half inches right there. Okay. So uh, the length of the glue stick to the nearest half inch is two and a half inches. Okay. You guys have used rulers before in your class, I think. Let's do it again with this paper clip right here. Let's line up the left end of the paper clip. This is the left end right here with the zero mark on the ruler. Okay, so let's just slide this down and line it right up with that zero mark on the ruler. Okay, I'm going to draw a little dotted border that goes right up here so I have a nice border right there. Okay, so there it is right there. And then the right end of the paper clip, which is right here, and then if we drew a line straight down, which is this dotted line goes down right here, it uh, it is between the fourth inch marks for, looks like it's between, again, it looks like the one inch and the two inch right here. So remember, it goes, uh, this would be uh, one inch, this is one and one fourth, this is one and one half, this is one and three fourths. But this question is asking, so which uh, inches is it between this fourth inch mark? It's between the one inch and the two inch right there. Okay, so the mark that is closest to the right end of the paper clip is the uh, one and three fourths mark right there. Here's the one inch, one fourth, one half, uh, three fourths right here. Okay, so it's one and three fourths inch long. So that paper clip is going to be um, the length of the paper clip to the nearest 
fourth inch is one and three fourths inch. Okay, you guys can do that, right? Let's do that here. Let's make a line plot here uh, to show measurement data. So this is how we make a line plot. So, so we have a, a, a ruler. So this is going to be my ruler right here. And then seven crayons right here. I think your books might say ten crayons or something. So, so if you have some crayons and your, yours are going to be different lengths than mine are right here. Okay, and we're going to measure the seven crayons to the nearest half inch, you guys. And we're going to complete the line plot uh, and draw an X for each. Okay, so this little X. So let's go ahead and, and line this um, uh, this crayon up right here where it's right on the zero right there. Does it look like it's on the zero if I drew a line straight up? Okay, and then so this looks like it's about, and it says, it says, uh, uh, we're going to measure it to the nearest half inch. Okay, so this looks like it's closest to three and a half inches right there. So let me put that back up there. All right, and then so we're going to put our X right there at three and a half inches right there. You see that right there? Okay, now let's bring this guy down. Let's slide this guy down, and we're going to line it right up right there. Okay. And does it look closer to three inches or three and a half inches? Now it said to the nearest half inch, you guys. So we got to go either on the full three inches or the three and a half. We can't include the three and a quarter, even though it might be closer to three and a quarter. They want us to measure it to the nearest uh, half inch. So it's closer to three than it is to three and a half right there. So. Uh, uh, so I'm going to say that one is three inches. So I put a little X on the three inches right there. Okay, now we're going to slide this guy down. So this guy's going to go down right here. It's going to slide down right there. This one looks like it's at, at three and a half inches right there. Okay, so we'll put another X right there at three and a half inches. Okay, we'll do that with this one here. This one looks like it's going to be, ooh, again, it's going to be three and a half inches right there. So we'll put another X right there. Okay, I think I'm on, let's see, so there's a, the fourth one, two, three, four. So I think I'm on this one right here. So if I slide that one down, again, that one's three and a half inches right there. So we'll put another X right there. This guy's going to slide down to another three and a half inches. So most of my crayons, you guys, are three and a half inches right there. And then this guy right here, let's see, this one looks a little bit shorter. This one's closer to three inches right there okay all right so there would be a line plot right there so most of mine right there uh, are so it says describe any patterns there might be so my crayons uh, most of my crayons were uh, three and a half inches I did have a couple of that were three inches right here but most of them were three and a half inches if you have some that are broken you might have some X's down over here okay just remember it says um, uh, measure the your crayons to the nearest half inch so it's either going to land on Hopefully you don't have any this short from zero to a half inch. That would be hard to work with. Anyway, so uh, you're gonna be, that's what a line plot is right there. You're going to make plots of, of your lengths right there. Okay, that's all a line plot is. All right, you guys, take care.